Our mission is to build social structures. We will have to extend the whole of the elements that enter into the everyday life of the people. I was told many stories how the people arose out of the debris very often, knowing that their near and dear ones were lying lost them forever. We will do everything in our power to promote the welfare, security and happiness of all the people. We are appreciative of the taxation reductions that we've been able to make. And then recently they've been telling us the cost of uh, Labour's promises in this election. If trouble came and New Zealand and the democracies of the South Pacific were menaced, he wouldn't let that danger go without taking some steps to prevent it or remove it. I don't think that New Zealand and our claim for a special arrangement could be a breaking point. It's a marginal problem for the enlarged community of 250 million people. We in New Zealand are very pleased that on this, our first New Zealand day, we should have the privilege of having with us Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The Prime Minister never, as the leader of the opposition or as Prime Minister before, has turned down any kind of opportunity for publicity under any circumstances, good, bad or indifferent. We've been doing our best to make the uh, public feel that uh, it's not going to be too bad, but I'm sure there'll be public apprehension up until the time of the changeover. The issue, you see, is not whether France apologises. That, in the longer term, will become the issue. I don't care if they never apologise to me, but New Zealand ought to be apologised to. They have to give him regular briefings and they certainly have to bring to his attention anything that may end up being controversial or difficult. I think cultural diplomacy is about letting people understand and respect each other. It has, it has an important role, essentially. We simply reject the concept of just pouring hundreds of millions of dollars down the drain to pay people to do nothing because it is destructive to the people concerned. I think that women's experience in all of the things that we do, how we relate to our colleagues, how you relate as a family person, are part of how your management style evolves as well. And certainly that, I think, has stood me in good stead. We wouldn't want to be the first to conclude a poor agreement. We would like to be the first to conclude a good agreement. A good agreement will be judged by the extent to which it's comprehensive for New Zealand. New Zealanders have woken to a tragedy unfolding in the great city of Christchurch. We are witnessing the havoc caused by a violent and ruthless act of nature. Many people have lost their lives. These deaths are the greatest loss. You know, good economy, open to trade, political stability. Uh, we're not having to deal with some of the difficult issues other countries are. I think we can have a bit more influence as a positive forward-thinking country. The world has been stuck in a vicious cycle of breeding extremism and it must end. We each hold the power in our words and in our actions and our daily acts of kindness. Let be the nation we believe ourselves to be.